day, everyone. Welcome to Singing Traveling's Daily Coffee Talk. I'm Marsha. That's Kurt. I'm Kurt today. Yeah. Again. I'm proud of you. Again, Good another day. day being me. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the show this morning. Mm -hmm. I have drank my coffee. You done drunk it all? I have not drank it all, but I'm working on it. Yeah. And uh, we have watched a little bit of the news. We've talked a little bit about this, a little bit about that. So we are ready to talk about Easter today. I mean, mm -hmm. it is Wednesday, and it is this weekend is Easter. So I thought, uh -huh. let's talk about a little bit about Easter. Friday's Good Friday. Friday's Good Friday. I know also uh, coming up, we can sometime, uh, I think it's next month, there's a, what is that, where you look at the sun, there's a. Eclipse? Eclipse. Eclipse? Yeah. Where you look at the sun. I don't know how much of it we'll that get to see. That thing where you look at the sun. Though. Certain states will get to see it a lot better than us. Uh, we'll get to see it. I think they said, well, we'll get to see almost three quarters of it anyway. But anyway. Just a tip. Just a tip. Yeah. Good yeah, morning. morning. Hope everyone's Let's, doing all right. Work. Before we go say good morning to everybody, I want to go to the, the poll because I want to talk about food today. We must be hungry. Easter food. Okay, so I looked up traditional Easter food, and one of the main things that it said was lamb, and you can substitute lamb for ham. That's yeah. the, that's a normal Easter thing. A lot of people do ham instead of lamb. And then it has all kinds of things that really aren't, to me, a traditional Easter food. <laughs> It just said here, cook From us all with over it. the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. And so I was like, what are your favorite traditional Easter foods that you have for Easter? Uh, I said coconut cake, cake, and Kurt looked at me like I had two hands. It's like, what are you talking about? I had about? forgot what she I was said, talking well, about. I said, well, remember, every store you go into, they have the coconut cake with the little plastic bunny ear things in it. Coconut on top of uh, cupcakes or whatever. Yeah. You're right. You're right. And then and the eggs and everything. number one would be eggs. I think that was the only one that I could find in researching that had it on everything that said traditional. I said eggs, 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 yeah. eggs. Yeah. I wonder why eggs. eggs, you think? Because maybe you're out there hiding a bunch of them. You got to do something with them when you're done. Hmm. It came out of the rabbit's butt, I guess, the eggs did. I don't know. I, I hope not. Because I like deviled eggs. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't and care. then uh, carrot cake, because, you know, Wood Bunny doesn't love carrot cake, right? Mm. And then um, what else did I put in there? All right, you got lamb, ham, uh, lamb and ham, saying that's your meats, and then carrot cake, deviled eggs, and then a peanut butter eggs. Now, for me, that's when, when I was going up, churches used the to churches make the churches made the, the, uh, the homemade peanut butter eggs. eggs. Yeah, that's peanut butter in them. Mm -hmm. You could, uh, there was a few of them had other stuff in it or solid chocolate or something. My cousin used to make the peanut butter balls, the, the smaller version of the big old egg that you yeah, get at church, yeah. and she'd dip them in chocolate and she did a lot of work to get them there. And they were oh, delicious. They, did you ever get the one that looked like a bunny? No, but that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, they, they would decorate the eyes. And it would look like, you know, part of a bunny. Yeah. It was it was usually the egg part. It was in the shape. But then they would decorate it like a bunny. Oh, no. I had yeah. not, never had that. Yeah. I, I just knew deviled eggs. And I know it, from experience going to our family functions for Easter, they were either decorated like little chicks, the deviled mm -hmm. eggs were, or they were multicolored. <laughs> Excuse me. It's her morning sneeze. It's my morning sneeze. Hopefully it's over with. I've already yeah. taken my allergy pills this morning, but can I tell you, everything is in bloom, which means sneezing is going to be worse for Marsha. So, mm -hmm. hey Kurt, I saw I did finally see your thing where you showed all the my lettuce. Thing? You seen my thing? Your your what do you call it? Marco I don't know Polo. Until you, tell, until you tell what it is. Your Marco Polo, where you have a bunch of lettuce growing outside. And yeah, you, I know. You I, didn't I, have to do anything to make it happen. Didn't even have to plant that this year. I was like, yep. And yeah. it's, I like it staggering too. They're yeah. not all growing at once. That's just more food for the bunny when he gets here on Sunday. Uh, don't say that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll get into they're that out there. It. We got you a few of them around here. Um, let's say good morning. Hey, today is Wednesday, March the 27th. Mm -hmm. It's the day the last March, the day's the last Wednesday. Sure, we'll go with that. Day's yeah, the last yeah, Wednesday in March, I believe so, for 2024. Uh, it is 45 degrees here in Southern Virginia. Sure. Yeah, and it's not going to get but like 50-something, so mm -hmm. it's not going to get real warm today, but let's say hello to Scott McNeil. Good. Change hey, that right Scott. there. Scott. Good morning. Looks like, like that. still might be in front of a ship there. It looks That's, like a ship's hull. I don't blue. know. Maybe, I like Maybe it. not. I like the picture. He'll tell us. Desiree Hall. Good morning, Desiree. Desiree. 
Thanks for being Thanks here. Thanks for being here. And pinned at the top today, the national day calendar. Oh. And this is for anyone who had one. I had one. I had Happy one. Little Red Wagon Day. Matter of fact, when my kids were young, my dad redid my Little Red Wagon and then passed it on to my boys. And now I'm sure my grandson will end up. With I have a, a Little Red Wagon story too, but mine's a little more depressing than yours. Uh oh. Um, uh, I no, had mine little... could be depressing, but I don't want to tell that story. Right. I had a Little Red Wagon. I don't know if you guys remember the little red wagons where they had the wooden sides and they would come That's off. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well. That's what I had. I, okay, we're not talking about you anymore. Oh. So I had that and we had a fire. Uh, I was living with my grandparents at the time with my mom. Uh -huh. And we had a fire and they used the little red wagon to carry water back oh, and forth. Oh, and it got rest fire. Up. Fire got to my little red wagon. Mm -hmm. But when I got older, mm -hmm. my stepdad got me a very large red wagon and one of those um, metal wagons that you can carry stuff back yes, and forth to. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe my daughter still has it. I think yeah. Amber still has that. We took it to that. the beach one time. Yeah, it it's was heavy. really good to use at the beach. No, it ain't. It is. No, it's a pain in the hunt in. Unless, no. the, unless the sand's hard. It's very good to drag your chairs near the beach. Okay. That's about it. Desiree Hall, good morning to you. Uh, PSV Odyssey. Good morning, Paul. Thanks for being here and this morning. And we have Eddie Lugo Studios, which I heard Eddie tell everyone, hey, we're going in over here. We uh -huh. did, we were watching we Eddie. We were just watching Eddie. Sometimes we spy uh, on you, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. we, we yeah. just sitting there watching incognito. When we get a chance, we put it on. Sometimes yeah. we don't have a chance. So. We sit down here early enough. And I was early today, guys. I was what I consider early. 10, we were six, 10 till six to eight, min eight minutes. Eight minutes. That's early. early. Yeah. Normally I show up at four minutes still. Uh, Anthony Simone, thank hey, you so good much. Good morning, for being Anthony. Bama Nolan. Hey, good Adventures. morning. And they have changed their picture. That's a new picture. That okay. is a new picture. Okay. I recognize DJ's Adventures and Beyond good is with morning, us. Good morning, DJ. Thanks here. for being uh, here this morning with us. Bone and Tired Denise. Travelers. She said good morning, y'all. Uh, Give him a kiss, Marsha. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> oh, getting a tooth pulled. Somebody is. Oh, okay. no. Oh, Denise. I'm sorry. Tell him to give you something good. You know. Give you some, some good pain medicine for give that. Give me kid. something good. I need something relaxed once I get home. I'm just saying. Good morning. It's a cruise life. Thanks for being here Afternoon. with us this morning. Afternoon. Kathy Mills. Hey, Kathy. Kathy, Good morning. It, it, am I telling too much? As uh, you know, she Kathy was supposed to go on a cruise with us, uh, and she had to cancel that last minute. I wonder if she's going to make the next one. What's when, the next when, one? Uh, in 2026. Oh, I hope so. Oh, Kathy, I hope you get to come with us. Yeah, uh, the AB, ABC cruise. ABC uh, is me. James L. Cantonese. Good morning. Um. Thank you so much for being with us. This the morning. reason I got on Easter uh, is because yeah. it is Easter weekend. I was talking to my daughter and she said, we have a full weekend. And on, I think it's on Sunday, Sunday, I think, or Monday, they're going to the park. The, the city is going to have an Easter egg hunt and they're going to the park to collect oh, Easter eggs. And I thought, I wonder how that's going to go with Anderson being only a year old. No, right now it's looking like there's a, no, there's no chance of rain now. Saturday, Sunday is supposed to be beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. 70 degrees. Supposed to be one of the warmest Easter's we've had in Ooh, this part. Ooh, nice. All right. Uh, DJ's Adventures and Beyond. Yeah. I like uh, ham most, for most Easter. Folks, most people get ham for Easter. Or cross buns. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of those hot cross mm -hmm. buns. Yeah, they said, mm -hmm. that's one thing they named off. Uh, good morning, Good Kurt morning, Marshall. Chris. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for being here with us this morning. Ohio uh, Travels with Chris is her channel. Make sure you check it out. Oh, there's people on YouTube say that they have barbecue. Uh, barbecue Barbecued their ham. ham. Yeah, they probably do. They probably do. Mm. Some people smoke it. Uh, like Smoker. Here. Yep. Yep. James L. Cannonese, right, yep, right, right there. Right there on the ball with us. I bet they do some good cooking up there. James does. I, I cook my ham in the oven and put little pineapples on it and put a little glaze on it, a little uh, uh, brown sugar glaze on it. That's how I cook it when I cook a ham. Ocean to ocean travel. Thank you so much for being in here this morning. Good morning, Bruce and Hope Cindy. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, Sharon Rowland. Sharon. Good morning, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Good morning. Thanks for being here this morning with us. I like and your mom's in hand. here this yep. morning. Morning, Mom. Morning, Mom. I love you. Thanks for coming by. Thanks the coffee's good today, Marsha. Yeah, it really is. What'd you do to it? 
I don't really know. I just kind of fix it the same as I normally do. Yeah. But I don't tastes know what's really different good today. about it. But it is. It's weird. Tasty. You can fix a coffee the same way every single day for a week. And every single day, it'll taste different. It's weird. Mm. Morning, Scott. Tell Gene I said hi this morning. He said he's driving and listening. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott, um, I saw in a chat last night that you were you were in Orlando. <gasps> oh. Uh, I was wondering. Yeah, he can't tell us because he's driving right mm -hmm. now. But just wondering how he is. Today is the last. Yes, today is. She told me after today's is last yes. Wednesday. And you know what? I didn't know if this fella was going to be here or not. So he's been with, talking smack about you, Billy. With this guy being here, I know he ain't the winner of the uh, mega. All right. So neither. So are he's we. here. He didn't win. He didn't win because he's here. Ahoy there, everybody. Ahoy there, Kurt, who likes butt eggs, and Marsha, who's more <laughs> beautiful than the Easter basket on Easter morning. The captain's here. Uh, Thank God. you so much. I appreciate uh, that. Hey, John Gaylor. Hope Morning, you're doing very, very well. <laughs> oh, so like don't, don't touch my nose, Michael. Yeah, a little delayed. And, uh, yeah, I'm moving it over here. So you just sent that to it. me, John. It got worked out a lot more. Yep, just saying. Mm. Morning, Will G. Thanks for being here this morning. Nate says it's 45 degrees in Central Texas. And you know, we've been, us, we've here, been having here. our little thing go across in the southern world. central, southern central Virginia. You feel better now? I do. Okay. So, we've been I'm having our dating. banner go across in it at some mornings to tell them what we're doing. But I forgot, I have a trip coming up very soon in May, a month away, to go to Las Vegas for work. So work it's in, trip. It's in May. So convention. Two, two, Anybody who's ever been to a convention knows how they are. Okay. It's a work trip. Mm -hmm. A lot of crazy going on. Mm. Good morning, Chet and Robin with Sea Lake Journeys. Thanks for being here. If this a company's morning. got to go to Vegas to do anything, there, it says it all. I'm just glad we're going. <laughs> Let's see, TNT's Adventures. Good morning. Hello, y'all. Thank Good morning, you very much for being in here. And mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we have, uh, da, 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 da. they like prime rib for Easter. Well, who doesn't there, Tom and Terry? That sounds I'm, delicious. I probably wouldn't, not, me, not myself, but I'm not a big prime rib eater. Though, I don't either. cook it, but I will certainly eat it no matter when you serve eye. it. I like to have a little more meaty to me. Actually, Prime rib uh, and ribeye are my favorite two steak, steaks. Yep. I, I don't really like the others as much. You give me a, a ribeye. Dad, Dad, Dad's like, no, on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> I does a ray. Oh, my goodness. Hey, uh, look who's in here. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Mom. She had a busy, busy few couple of days. I hope there. Danny's doing well this yep. morning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hope y'all got some sleep Bright last eyed night. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Up this morning with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see. Oh, do, 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 I'm running through here a little bit. Hey, don't forget, right after us, the Sea Leg Journeys. I think I already popped him up here, but uh, there is Sea Leg Journeys right there. Uh, Chet will be on, and if you're in the chat, it should take you right over to there. If you are cooking something that's traditional, that's hey, yeah, not on our list, please make sure you put it in the chat. If you have something that you do that's traditional, uh, or you used to, or your family you used, used to, to do. fix, you know, yeah. uh, somebody in your family used to fix something. And uh, our family every year, my we, granny was anywhere we cake. ever went, my mom had to make macaroni, uh, uh, macaroni Mac cheese, cheese, corn pudding, and uh, potato salad, which I love. Y'all didn't venture salad. too far away from your Christmas or Thanksgiving. That's what meals. we made. Like, y'all made the same did. thing for each holiday. Now, we didn't have the same thing for each holiday. Now, my aunt Kim used to make the deviled eggs, but they were a little runny. I'm just, I'm just, throwing, I'm throwing that out there Ooh. a little bit. So, hey, I, Kim, don't watch. I guess <laughs> she's like, never watch Marsha's show again. You know, no, no, they were, they were hey, a little you know soupy. How Sometimes yeah. she would admit it. She would admit it. Other than our mamas, did anybody else family wise watch us? No, nobody, nobody. No. My mama watches me, and that's about it. Well, Jenny yeah. comes in, and she's a friend. Yeah, but no, I said, mm -hmm. you know, well, yes. Good okay. morning. Ron, Ron, yeah, Ralu sixty nine, Ron and his family, and yes. I think they were traveling the, fam, the other day. The fam, the they fam, were, they were, they mm -hmm. were, they were. When I had uh, talked to them, I just mm -hmm. wanted to make sure I got in there and got to say that the fam. 
Uh, <laughs> let's see. He loves that new new mm -hmm. channel name. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of. We always had the certain. There's there's in our family certain people made certain desserts, and that's what you brought. And that's what, once you made a good something, whatever the and something you're was, you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. You cannot veer from it. So my aunt would make these delicious uh, no baked cheesecakes, mm -hmm. and they kind of reminded me of key lime pies, mm -hmm. that kind of flavor, the creamy lime kind of flavor yeah. of them. And she put strawberry and cherry uh, on, on top of them, strawberry or cherry. Mm -hmm. They were good. They were, huh? Magnificent mm -hmm. Germany with Darian's here. Howdy, howdy. Mm -hmm. Hope you're doing very well, sir. Mm -hmm. um, Bone Tire Travelers, the Bridgeton Edition. English, English toffee, toffee Creamer. Ooh, that sounds Ooh, good. I like some English toffee now. She does. She really does. When oh. we went to Helen, Georgia, I'll get him in just a second. It don't matter if you checked it. You didn't win. Don't be ugly. You might have won a piece of it. I got a number right. Any, anyway. <laughs> when we went to Helen, Georgia, I got some of the uh, talking to Billy peanut brittle, but it was pecan peanut brittle, homemade, you know, fresh, and that stuff is delicious. It definitely tastes a whole lot different from the stuff that you get, like if you get peanut brittle in the store, like you know, grocery store. That was good. TNT's of interest right here. Tell us a little bit right here. So uh, I like to make, he likes to make uh, different glazes. Oh, like from cherries to uh, party to peach to yeah. apricot. That sounds delicious. I know you're a very excellent cook, or shall, shall I say chef, because uh, you definitely cook much better. We've seen some of the pictures and videos. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Kathy wow. says, thanks, guys. Unfortunately, my work cycle as an accountant makes it really hard to take off the first half of the month. Yeah. I'm a conscientious employee. Dang it. Yeah. Um, is that... Is that, is that I can't imagine taking off any time. I'm trying to remember when that cruise is, though, in 2026. It's in April, isn't it? You got plenty of times to get conscientious and no non-conscientious to go. No. I can't imagine being an accountant and taking off any time before June because you do the extensions on some of them. Oh. And there's a lot of accounting work done at the first part of the year. And right before you Just think. Just remember, you, you ain't the only accountant out there. Kurt. Kurt. I'm sorry, Kathy. Hold on just a second. Okay. Gosh, I'm sorry, Kathy. Everybody's just a number where they're at. Just saying. We know what Kurt, the number Kurt is. <laughs> uh, he meant ham, not game. Yeah, okay. ham. Gotcha. All right. Let's see right here. They said, uh, my wife and I share everything that is here is hers and everything is mine is hers. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth? Everything hers is hers and everything mine is hers. Right, That's pretty much how it is here. People. Try to take one of Kurt's M&Ms. Mm. Unless, I, unless I don't mind. Uh, go ahead, Marshall. Hey, Tom. Good morning. He says, good morning. I can tell already it's going to be a day to, at work. Good to hear friendly voices. Can't wait until the friend. I know that's a, a ship, but enjoy it. Four weeks from tomorrow. Enjoy it. Firenze. Mm -hmm. I never say these ship the names Firenze. right. Can I tell you? We were talking about MSC yesterday. Nice Kurt ship. was naming ships, and I'm like, I don't even. You're gonna have to spell that. I have no idea. Oh, we were naming is. off some MSC ships oh. that are down. There's one of them going up the Amazon. That's that's a total. That's a different show to talk yeah. about. That's that's pretty yeah. cool. It sound you yeah. know to go up the Amazon. What's what's your first response to that when you heard that they were going up the Amazon? Oh, they, they're going to catch something. Yep. They going to they going to come back with something. I don't know if I can do that. They're probably going to catch something. Yeah, that was my first response. Good morning, Scott. Controversial cruising. I hope you're enjoying your birthday week, mm -hmm. month. It's almost. A he month probably celebrates like you do a month. I'm going yeah. to guess at that one. There's nothing wrong uh, with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Denise is working Good Friday and Easter. Well, thank oh, you, goodness. thank you for working. Germany, uh, uh, might go to uh, up here? yeah, yeah here. He says ribeyes and prime rib is my favorite as well. That there's nothing wrong with that. I prefer the boneless ribeye than the bone rib ribeye. That's just my personal preference because I hate eating around the bone, and I'm the one that's sitting there in the restaurant chewing on the bone, make sure I got all of it. So, yeah, boneless is probably better. 
Yeah. My carry to every th everything dish used to be lemon pound cake. <laughs> that, oh. is, that was her. That was what she had to bring on. Oh, oh, that sounds good. Hey, here's a new one in here. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure. Let me let me read over it. Um, let's see. Adventure cast. Good morning. Been, go Thanks ahead. for being here with us this morning. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah. They said good morning, everyone. Nice yeah. shirt, Kurt. The only thing about Easter I remember from childhood is getting an Easter basket and hunting for eggs. We did that a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every yeah. every family Easter, we used to go to my grandmother's. There's a ton of kids there, and you used to, you know, you know, you did the side shoulder where you knocked the other kid yeah. down. Yeah, you ever, mm -hmm. you ever and got accidentally those eggs. stepped on an egg? I, I've done Ooh. that one, too. Yeah, done that. And remember, the plastic eggs are better because you can stick good candy in those. Nobody wants 150 deviled eggs or plastic eggs are fine eggs. until you find them in the summer and you find a pile of ants around everything with the candy because they always put candy inside the plastic egg. Did you not? Plastic eggs. Did you not do a good job of, job of finding the eggs? Sounds like you didn't do a Sounds good like job of finding my, the eggs. Sounds like my, no, it was not I. It would have been my parents. Probably forgot where they put them. That is a problem. You had I could many. have done the same thing. It, I'm, I'm not many. saying we've ever experienced it. I want to read the Billy's it's, right here. Okay. Captain Billy's, go ahead. For, for Easter, Easter, we'd always have ham. I also love my grandmother's seven-layer Layer salad. salad. Yeah. She also would make... Uh, from scratch. From scratch, warm chocolate pudding topped with hand-whipped whipped cream. Ooh, no good. calories at all. That uh, Are you talking about like the, the, the one you stir, like the homemade cook on top of the stove stir for the until your arm falls off pudding because that's good so chris has to make uh macaroni old, salad <laughs> macaroni salad three, three times, times a year. <laughs> my grandmother used to have to make macaroni salad and uh goulash she took a lot of goulash to places and she made I a like that goulash you fixed most recently marcia fixed us up all right I, I can i share it. something about that because there's no. a there's a story there I, I need care. to call my mom and see how she makes it. I said, I don't care how your mama makes it. I'm going to make it the way I want to make it. I already got it in my head. I know what I'm going to do. I'll we'll make sure it tastes good. He thought, well, I, all right, well, let's just, I may not eat it then. And I thought, that's okay. It's plenty for me. I don't care. I made that and I've never seen a man eat more goulash in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that thing. You can take that one. You go. Oh, my goodness. But Seems it was tripping good. with Kim and Scott. Here. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Thanks for being here. We're talking I'm just about telling her but, she's number one, y'all. She's number one in yeah, my you're, life. You're number one to me too. Oh, thank you. Um, Kim and Kim and Scott, we're talking about traditional Easter foods that you would have at Easter at your family. You know, holiday. there's another good cook in here. His name is Scott McNeil, and I'd like to know what Scott McNeil yeah. wants for you know what what, what, what do you what, eat? What dinner are you going to eat for Easter? Mm -hmm. So and I know Scott's a good cook. Mm -hmm. uh, just saying. Okay. There's another one that I, I forget that, you know, he, he knows what he's doing in yeah. there. Uh, and I'm not reading Billy's right here. <laughs> First number two. <laughs> uh, Terry, uh, TNT, Terry is senior accountant. You see? We see, they understand Terry that probably doesn't, isn't even speaking to anyone right now. She's probably at work as we speak, getting those numbers mm -hmm. crunched. Mm -hmm. I know that we, uh, we, use multiple CPAs because we have so many associations that you can't give one CPA all those. Kathy's uh, going to give me a hard time, but go ahead. Okay. Oh, sorry. But, um, so they all do an extension set. I don't have time to do all of this right now. We're going to have to do some extensions and get them done later in the year. What did Kathy say? Kathy said, you're right, Kurt, but it's just not. In, in me, <laughs> to not, not to do what's That's right. That's right. If I, I hit the lottery, lottery, I'll retire. And so, um, there yeah. are every other couple of cruises too. Mm -hmm. So, Kurt and I talked about this, and I was dreaming yesterday, and I was dreaming big. Like, she was. I had some good dreams, and then they were crushed this morning when I woke up and found out we didn't hit it. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, yeah, Kurt, think about how many cruises we could take. If we won that lottery, five you would get. So we found out you would get five hundred and seventy-six million dollars if you just took it all at one time. No, it was more than that. It was not five hundred seventy-six million. I watched the news said that. So if you have better information than that, you let me know. Okay. But uh, that's a nice chunk of change there. People. It wouldn't matter. Let's put it that way. <laughs> we didn't win it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But uh, I can I can live with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I know you could. Very easily. Um, look right here. Captain Billy's telling you how they did it. 
Yes, stirred on the stovetop chocolate pudding. Yeah. That's the best homemade hot. The not that instant stuff. That's not that's not as good as the homemade where you stir. But can I tell you, my grandma used to make me stir, and I felt like, especially like with cream of wheat, yeah. you had to stir the whole time because she put milk in. And I thought my little hand and arm are gonna fall off in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like uh, to me it took forever. Scott McNeil is having some ham. Yummy. I was wondering what if he, you fixing that ham there. You're not before. having ham this this year. No, no, I can't. Chicken have. or turkey. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, Sandy C. Good morning. Mm -hmm. She says good morning. I have to work the next two days, so can't tune in. And I wish everyone to have. Hey, well, thank Sandy you so C. Much. You're in here right now. What what what, what are you it. having? What are you doing for Easter? If yeah. you don't mind telling yeah. us, uh, we're talking a little bit early. We're talking yeah. about food wise. Talking mm -hmm. about food. I can cook almost anything, but when it comes to potato salad, I still use mom's recipe. My mama. Mm -hmm. She made, and I am weird. I like the warm potato salad. I know that sounds weird, but she makes it and she cools it and puts it in the fridge. But before um, it goes in the fridge, I get my bowl and I eat it warm. It can buy me a boat. That's the truth. It could buy me 576 a million could buy you a boat. It could mm -hmm. wonder what kind of boat, we, you know, what kind of boat will we get? Kurt? We get more money from winning what? a jackpot here, here in, in Florida. Florida. No, no state no. income tax. See. He, he don't have to put up with that. Oh, nice. Uh, Ventures Cast said, buy your own cruise ship. No. no I mean, I, I, I get it. You, yeah. You're right. You'd had the money to be able to do it. Yeah, you're lot, exactly right. I'm just saying, I've read some of these posts on uh, YouTube. There's a lot of whiny people on these cruise ships. I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I just won $576 million. Yeah. I don't want to hear anything. My, to my mom made from scratch chocolate pie. Oh. Slap, make mom. you slap your mom. My, uh -huh. So my mom made brown sugar pies. She made chocolate pies. She would make chocolate pecan pies and pecan pies. All of them pretty much, we would make them and take them, and they were delicious. Uh, the Naughty Cruiser Travel hey, Logs here. Thanks for joining good us morning, in this Mike. morning. Uh, hope you're doing very well. I got vacation. He's now he's late ready. for work. Yeah, he's ready for a vacation. He's got it very soon. Okay, GT Cruiser right here. Read that for me. I'm also an accountant. A lot of accountants mm -hmm. in here. Okay. And no, all too well the drama of scheduling time off. Our fiscal year ends March the 31st, and annual audit is early late spring to oh. midsummer. Oh. But I find the time for vacation. Good. That good. is good great, DT Cruiser. Yeah. It is yeah. hard. Let and me, and, let and me I see. know that um I know that Chet and Robin Robin does excuse me, something with, with accounting. And so that's a big thing. Like, how do yeah. you get the end of the year stuff? How do you get the beginning of the year stuff done? It's like a, a challenge for you people. All right. The uh, poll question today, what, what are your favorite Easter uh, traditional foods? And we had 40% of y'all, 30 votes came in, uh, lamb or uh, ham, mm -hmm. carrot cake, excuse me, uh, mm -hmm. got excuse me, mm -hmm. uh, got 10%, deviled eggs got 30%, and peanut butter eggs got 20%. Um, so thank y'all for voting in that right there. Look what Denise says, Bone Tire Travelers. Uh, hold on, I will. Uh, Not, yep, up right, right there, yep. All right. She also made an amazing split layer caramel cake. Oh, no, no wonder no, we're, we're all, all diabetics. diabetics. So, huh. um... I can't remember who made yeah. it, but there was a cake that we used to eat at church with my grandmother uh, after after the, what do you call it, the uh, sunrise service. And it's very thinly layered, regular cake, chocolate icing, regular cake, chocolate icing. Delicious. Read that real quick. Read that real quick. CDC says, we have a family reunion Saturday, so I haven't figured out on Sunday's meal yet. I always love a spiral sliced ham. That sounds yummy. And there's another gentleman who wants some ham. ham. I can't have it this year, bud. Uh, listen, thank y'all so much. Y'all make sure you, if you stay here, you head right over to Sea Leg Journeys. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for being with us on a yes. uh, hump day here. Hump day. Well, tomorrow's Thursday, and I guess it's Thursday, Thursday or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know what she's going to say. Eve. Friday Eve. But anyway, y'all head on over to Sea Leg Journeys and join them for this morning. Thank y'all for being with us and have a blessed day. This is See Me Travel. Daily Coffee Talk. Bye, y'all.